Welcome to in 5 minutes. The agenda of this clip is to implement a 2 input NOR gate using pass transistor and transmission gates. Okay, let's get started. Here when you see on your screen, you can see that the truth table of a 2 input NOR gate is written. When both my inputs are 0, my output is 1 and rest all the 3 cases my output is equal to 0. So we need to identify if we can make any of our input as our control signal so that we can go ahead and make this implementation using pass transistors. In this case, I'm going to use a PMOS transistor as a pass transistor. So let's get started and see. So when my input is equal to 0, B input I mean, if I see properly my output A, sorry my output Y is equal to A bar. So that's great. Let's write that. Let's see what happens when B is equal to 1. When my B is equal to 1, that means my B bar is equal to 0. Can we have any relation? When B is equal to 1, A and Y are same. When B is equal to 1, A and Y are not same. So there is no direct relation between Y and A when B is equal to 1. But if you see smartly, you'll come to know that when my B is equal to 1, my Y is equal to B bar. Or we can also say that when my B is equal to 1, my Y is always equal to 0 or ground. So once we have this, we just need to put this into the pass transistor. Let's start. When B is equal to 0, because we are using a PMOS, it will turn on when a 0 is applied. So B is equal to 0, this transistor would be on. I want my output to be nothing but A bar. So I've given my input as A bar. When my B is equal to 1, that means my B bar is equal to 0. And if it's a 0, then only my PMOS transistor will turn on. So B equal to 1 means B bar equal to 0. So I have to give this input as B bar because then my PMOS transistor would be on. This can be B bar or you can also give it a 0 value at its input. And this is nothing but your 2 input NOR gate where both the outputs are connected in parallel. And this is nothing but your output Y. Let's analyze this. When B is equal to 0, this transistor is on this transistor is off so my y will be equal to a bar because it's nothing but a closed switch from this path however in the other case when my b is equal to 1 that means my b bar is equal to 0 that means this transistor is off and this is on my y would be equal to b bar or 0 depending on what input i am giving here so when b bar equal to 0 my output y equal to b bar or 0 depending on the input b in simple words, my output is achieved for a 2 input NOR gate with the following diagram. So now we should implement the same using transmission gates. So for that, let's redraw this diagram first. Give its inputs. Give its output. For transmission gate implementation, if we already have the pass transistor implementation, we just need to connect a transistor in parallel to that pass transistor. In this case, because PMOS is how we have implemented it previously, so the parallel transistor is going to be NMOS. This is NMOS 1, this is NMOS 2. And the input to that NMOS is going to be the complement to the input of the transistor to which it is connected in parallel. Here it was PMOS and the input was B, so NMOS would have an input B bar, which is similar to the PMOS transistor below. And here this NMOS is connected in parallel to this PMOS whose input is B bar. So this will be B. And this is nothing but my two input NOR gate using pass transistors and transmission gate. You can verify it with the truth table. Hope you have followed. In further clips we will see the implementation of two input XOR and XNOR gate using pass transistors and transmission gates. Thank you very much and stay tuned.